What's going on, Phil? Come to the go to the back to a brand new Roblox video. My name's Creek, and oh my gosh, guys, this is this is gonna be a video. Mad City has officially become EA City. It's in the game. And look, I hate making a video like this, especially the day after Christmas. But man, yesterday, Mad City had an update, and it's just gone too far. I've, I've got to say something. I just can't not say something, dude. So before this video even begins, I know there's going to be some people that are going to say, hey, you're a jailbreak fanboy. That's why you're crying about this and complaining about it. And that's not true, because when jailbreak did the same thing, I complained about it then too. But this has got to be said. So for the people that don't know what's going on, basically yesterday, on Christmas, Mad City released a new update, and it was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back, because as this stuff right here on screen, everybody is mad about. Their Discord is mad about it, their Twitter is mad about it, everybody's mad. So let me explain what's going on. So in the new update yesterday, there is a brand new winter map, and that's cool, but they also added in a few new things. They added in a brand new snow vehicle, some brand new skins, and as well, a brand new sea Season that you can access right here brand new season five season seems cool right well now because if you want to get the new snowmobile you know little truck here guess what you got to pay 400 robux if you want to get the new skins and the new custom you know customizations dollar 50 and it gets worse guys it's worse than that and we'll get more into that here later on in the video because the whole season five is oh man guys it, it's bad let's just hop into this so first off i want to preface this by asking the question what is the point of playing mad city well there's two goals of playing mad city number one is to get money and upgrade your vehicles buy new vehicles buy new accessories for your vehicles and number two get max level get max rank those are the two reasons to play the game with that in mind three updates ago they added in a brand new vehicle not just a new vehicle but a vehicle that you had to buy with robux and that was the only way to buy it is with robux you couldn't use the cash that you earned in game you had to buy it with robux and it wasn't just the car it also included all the new accessories for that update the spoilers the rims and everything basically if you wanted to get the new vehicle and accessories and upgrades for that update you had to pay real money fast forward uh you know two updates ago and they added in the most highly requested vehicle in the game. They added in the Cybertruck. And here it is right here. And well, guess what? If you want the Cybertruck, it's another like 500 Robux just to buy that. And well, that was bad, but it, it got worse because this update, obviously, if you want the new snowmobile, you know, this little truck right here, it's going to cost you, you know, it's going to cost you some more Robux. And if you want these new accessories and upgrades for your car, it's going to cost you some Robux. There's, There's no, no way to buy this with the money you earned in the game no you, you gotta hand over your wallet that's the only way so the whole point of the game to collect money and upgrade your vehicles with that money is completely gone now because the only way to get the upgrades and the best vehicles in the game is by buying them with robux and yes i do mean the best vehicles in the game i'm gonna go ahead and buy this bad boy and i'm gonna show you guys that this thing is actually one of the fastest vehicles in the game look at how fast this thing goes this isn't even the top speed yet this is a very very fast vehicle and well, like I said, you can only get it by actually buying it with real money. No, it gets worse because if you want all the new customizations and rims and wheels that come with this, well, guess what? Then you're also going to have to pay some Robux for it. Now, this is this is the guys, they the car you have to pay $4 for basically get a $10 Robux card for they didn't even bother to animate the treads. Literally, the wheels don't even move. It's just sliding on the ground. They didn't even bother to animate the car that you have to pay $5 for. They, I, they didn't even bother. I don't know if they just forgot or if they don't test the game or if they just didn't care to, but it's not animated what about the skin pack let's check out the skin pack it's a it's, you know a dollar fifty you gotta buy some robux with it and well yeah three new items there you go the only way to get these skins you know to upgrade your vehicle with is with real money and to be honest a lot of these aren't even that great of skins they don't even look that complicated at all like this one and this one's kind of a rehash of the asimo skin like it's 
I don't know, dude. Now, if you want to have one-off vehicles that you can buy with Robux, that's fine. But the problem comes in whenever you can buy the best vehicles in the game and you can only buy them with Robux, then the game becomes pay to win. Just like the Cybertruck here, one of the fastest vehicles in the game and you can only buy it with Robux. So now the only way for a player to get some of the best vehicles in the game and some of the fastest vehicles in the game is to pay real money. Therefore, the game has become pay to win. Again, you cannot buy these with just in-game cash. Cash. But that's only part one of the problem. The second part of the problem, guys, is the new leveling system. Let's talk about season five. So the issue with season five is, well, you know, at first glance, it looks cool. There's some cool vehicles in here. Seems pretty awesome. But the issue is they actually doubled the amount of XP it takes to level up. It now takes 500,000 XP to level from level one to level 100. This is up from the 250,000 it took previously. Now, why did they make it harder to level up? Well, we'll get into that. But first, let's take a look at how much XP you actually get per robbery. So without any game passes per robbery, you get, you know, 300, maybe, you know, maybe 400, maybe 500 XP. We'll say the average is around 400 XP per robbery. It goes up a little bit. It goes down a little bit. So if we do the math, 500,000 divided by 400, you would need to rob the stores 1,000 250 times it's a big grind yes but they didn't really make this change to introduce a grind and the reason why i know that is because they actually doubled the amount of xp you get for paying robux they actually doubled it so what they've done here in a situation like this is they've made it harder to level up without actually paying and made it easier to level up by paying which is intentionally making players want and you know almost being forced to in some cases if they want to get all of these you know high-tech items in the season then you know Know, they're encouraged to just buy your way up because otherwise it's going to take you over 80 hours of grinding just to get the best items in the game so i'm going to do what the developers you know, want me to do here and i'm just going to go ahead and you know buy all this stuff because i i've done the math there's no way i would spend 80 hours grinding just to get this stuff but you know i have to show it off to you guys so might as well right for the people wondering it costs 4,000 robux to buy your way all the way up to the top and there we go we're now we're now max level there we go we got it we got all the new vehicles in the game because there's no way i'm gonna spend 80 hours you know grinding just just to get you know just get these items now unfortunately the issues don't end there i'm not gonna get too far into this but their discord and admin team has been in fires recently there has been discord moderators and parts of their staff that's been quitting like crazy they've been hiring and losing members it's been insane from the people i've talked to it mostly seems to be just the developers refusing to listen to the moderators and admin so a lot of them are just straight up quitting and getting replaced by new people who are then quitting and getting replaced by new people it's a mess ultimately i'm not going to get too far into that though because it's you know that's none of my business the reason why i bring it up though and mention it at all is simply because there is a lot of bugs in the game one of those bugs is a money exploit hack that has been in the game for over six months and i and numerous people have told them about this countless times and i'm not sure if it's fixed yet last week it was not fixed it just it hasn't been fixed and there's a lot of things in the game that just have not been fixed what seems to happen is almost like a chinese factory they release a product and they just forget about it release another one and they just keep pumping out products over and over and over again for example they release dogs and dogs are really broken uh, ask anybody most people want dogs to be nerfed in some way but they just haven't touched it they release an update they move on to the next update it, you just never balance anything or nerf anything or anything like that they just they just pump stuff out and hope it works and, and something else i see is the developers are never actually playing the game they just make the game but they're never playing the game i don't want to make the comparison the jailbreak here but i mean i, I think it's the obvious comparison you know bad cc and Asimo, they're always in the discord server talking they're always playing their game communicating with you know the community mad city hardly ever tweets about you know development processes or what players want or anything like that they, they hardly communicate they just make updates and 
hope the Discord staff handles everything. So I'm not sure if it's just the developers don't care. Or maybe it's just their way of developing. I don't know. I just know that whenever I, you know, spend $5 on a vehicle, I expect the tires to be animated. I mean, I've done the math here. Mad City has earned over $700,000 of IRL cash after doing the conversions from Roblox and taking Roblox's cut. And with all of that money, they couldn't even hire an animator to make the tires tires move like I mean I just I, I don't get it I just don't get it there's a lot of people saying Mad City has just become a cash grab maybe the developers know it's going downhill so they're just you know trying to capitalize it on you know and, and make as much money on it as possible for their next game I don't know and look I don't know Tay Master I've never really talked to him obviously I talk to a CMO and Bad CC a lot because they're very communicative uh, communicative is, is that a word I've never talked to Tay Master not once I I know a few of the developers of Mad City I've played Fortnite with them a few times and they seem like really nice people and I have no hate on the game at all I like the game a lot which is why I'm making this video because I don't want to see the game go downhill but you know as of right now this is turning into another Star Wars Battlefront situation and, you know it's just it's sad to see it's sad to see. I know there's a few people that's probably going to bring up the fact that they have added in other vehicles that don't cost money. For example, the invisible boat mobile here, which you get from, you know, beating a boss. But I mean, let's be honest. This is a joke vehicle. Nobody's ever going to use an invisible vehicle because you can't you can't find your invisible vehicle. You just you can't find it. Like It's, it's a joke vehicle. And then they're also probably going to bring up the fact that there is, in fact, the the where is it at here? This is this is the first Robux car, but the cyber quad, which you could buy for and you can buy for a million dollars in game. But really a million dollars in game for a four wheeler like so like so much of the vehicles in mad city cost so much money and it takes so long to get those vehicles just to encourage people to actually buy money to do it and I, i'm not gonna get into that i just feel like like the game is unfairly balanced to where so much of the game right now is just a giant grind just to encourage people to spend money to make it easier that's what the game feels like to me i don't know guys let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below am i right am i wrong uh, again i love the game i'm still gonna play the game and make videos on the game it's just as of right now it's going in a bad direction and i wanted to say something about it so hopefully the developers aren't too mad at me um at the end of the day it's my job you know so i mean it is what it is thank you guys for watching hope you guys had a great christmas regardless hit that subscribe button if you guys are new use star code real creek and um yeah i'll see you guys later guys all right bye